Hello, how are you? Hope you're having a good day. Let's see what Ab's up to. Are we better? Yes. Good. We don't even know what caused. Yeah, I'm not sure. I think she was maybe thinking she was getting the snack or something. Did you think you, you weren't going to get a snack this really afternoon? It delayed from the hand washing. Yeah. I don't know. Sometimes I'm in a bad mood for no good reason. What does that mean? Got something awesome in the mail this weekend while we were gone at SFA. So this is Abby's new harness. Yes, sir. A little upgrade. Improved version. Gonna make things uh, more secure and more comfortable. We've gotten so many questions about how we install these and just questions in general about them. So I will show you that since I gotta put this one in. It's gonna help some people, I think. So I will go through that. Look at me, what do you think? So, I feel like you're ready to go skydiving. <laughs> we're still trying to figure out which we're gonna wear in Vegas, and which she's gonna wear. Business casual? It's business casual, like for the conference part. Huh. But, you know, you'll wanna change for other stuff. This shirt has a pocket. Uh, that is not coming to Vegas. <laughs> you need, like, so Priscilla, or Priscilla, Abby's day is getting better. Um, she, she had a little bit of rough time coming home. I didn't really talk about it much earlier. Just, um, who knows? You know, I, I often think it's a combination of things. Like, it's Monday. It's first day back to school. She had such a great weekend at SFA. She's got therapy today. You know, demands being like put on her. Like, anyway. Yeah, she doesn't like being at the house for some reason. She loves it here, but she doesn't want to, like, she would rather be out. But if you go anywhere, that's not where she wants to go. She just wants to go. I don't. I don't know how to please this kid. The cat's. The cat's doing well today. Spent some quality time with the cat, Priscilla especially. We're like babysitting the grandchildren already. Look at this cat. So I put her down, and she keeps jumping on my leg, trying to climb up me. So look at her now. I think she really likes me. She's like, oh, you're not a cat person? Let me help, let me help sway you to the cat side. I mean, she's letting me rub her belly, y'all. How can I get anything done? How can I get my orders done when you want me to rub your belly like this? I keep trying to put her down and she keeps jumping up on me. Does it taste good? The cat loves me. Yeah. So I was trying to work in here and I had the door shut and she's like jumping up on my leg and meowing. I'm like, uh oh, I've already spoiled her. <laughs> like, okay, come on, sit in my lap. <laughs> and I'm the non cat person. Um, when we're not like hands on with the cat, it is in Isaiah's room right now because Maverick has a special interest in the cat. And then also the cat has been hiding behind everything and she's super hard to find. And her little bell. Collar's too too big right now, so we have to work on that. Yeah. We drove by Burger Fi um, the other day. Boy, she snapped so her head excited. around. Oh yeah. Yeah. Are yeah. She was not too happy when we went past it. <laughs> I would be so sad. <laughs> she truly has a friend and cheerleader in there. She really does. That's so cool. See, it's not just the internet, Abby. You you have people that love you everywhere, huh? Okay, we'll see you in a little while. You just came back from a break. This is the first thing. Bye, kiddo. Bye. Priscilla and I have been uh, working all day in the house. We've got some house cleaning. We've got laundry caught up. i gotta, I got to do some other gate. It's like, <laughs> it's like a security gate or something. It just needs to be spaced out or something. It's a pain to get open. Just getting the house back in order, you know? Needed it so badly. So that's how we're starting off the vlog this afternoon. One of our Hello Fresh meals for lunch. That was good. Oh yeah, yeah. So we get sponsors, you know, from a variety of things, and it's an interesting topic. Like, so the Hello Fresh, mm -hmm. um, awesome food. If you enjoy heavily spiced items, this is my review of it because this is not sponsored. Sponsor on her channel, not here. Um, if you like heavily spiced items, and not too heavily, like, it yeah, was I mean, super can, flavorful. It was good. Well, I didn't even use all the spice that they sent, so you can... Right, you know, obviously. Yeah. Don't pour as much on there. It all comes in one, right? You just, like, dump the spices in? Yeah. For the most part? 
Yeah, it was good though. We had like the burger thing. They have veg good. vegetarian options and yeah, I don't know. It's very convenient. I don't think it doesn't match our family necessarily, just because Priscilla cooks so much. But I be... really like it. We we do use it like when we know we're gonna have a busy week. True. You know. It's better than eating out Chick Fil A every right. day. <laughs> so speaking of working with brands and things that you know we share with you guys, this is not sponsored on YouTube. It was sponsored on Instagram and Facebook. Um, it's not sponsored in video format. And I was a little weary of this one, to be honest, because mental health is sometimes a private thing for some people. I think it's something that needs to be talked about more often. You know, a friend of ours experienced an extreme mental health situation today, as a matter of fact, and it's, but it's something that needs to be discussed more often. That's why I asked you guys when we started the vlog, how are you doing? Because I genuinely want to know. I want you to comment down below, how are you doing? I think it's just, and I mean it. Like, I mean, how are you doing? You guys are, are seemingly concerned with how we're doing all the time, and I want to reciprocate that. I, I want to know how you're doing. I think it's fairly anonymous place down in the comments. You know, feel free to let us know how you're doing. I, I want to know. We also had a subscriber come up and talk to us about thriving versus surviving at Dunkin' Donuts and how much that meant to her uh, just with health, health issues they were going through in their family. So it's it's definitely something that should be a major topic on our channel, I think. I think so. You know, the stresses of, of being special needs parents and, uh, you know, just everything going on in life, Isaiah with, in high school and the stresses of, you know, working towards college and all that. So that's what he's doing right now. We actually partnered with um, Talkspace. And like I said, I was weary of it at first. I was like, ah, uh, I don't feel as if I need um, counseling right now, you know, currently in my life. Um, and I didn't want to put it, all his stuff out there on blast, but he was totally comfortable with it. Like him and I had a long conversation about it. I had turned it down initially and um, he was fine with it. So he talked about it on Instagram and it was, it was, it was good. And he's liking it. Yeah, and I think it's important for our teenagers um, and adults. Yep. You know, I think that a lot of times we forget that adults have things that they're dealing with. Yeah. And just because you're a certain age doesn't mean that all of a sudden you're like, well, yeah, but you should be able to handle it. Because right. a lot of times we can't. And I know when I was growing up, that was not a discussion that people had. So I feel like people that are even our age are afraid to talk about it even more than the teenagers nowadays because nowadays it's more prominent right it's yeah. more accepting that you might have a mental health issue where when we were growing up that was not a thing that you talked about it yeah. was like so i think that we need to remember that people are going through things sometimes that you just have no idea about um and just be nice to one another you know that's the biggest thing like ask somebody how they're doing today and like genuinely want to know right well and I think it's more it's more prevalent nowadays just because the internet has really revealed who we are all as people whereas before you were talking trash about someone behind their back and they would never hear about it nowadays it's all over the internet so it's it's affecting the mental health of our kids right and uh, so then mental health becomes a bigger issue with our kids. I think the stresses of, of image and everything else, you know, because of the internet age has definitely come to a head. I, and I, like I said, I'm not, you know, blaming the internet. It's a, it's a magnificent thing and it's brought all of us together. Um, I'm just, I think it's really revealed who we really are, um, as people. So whether it's talk space or anybody else for that matter, a school counselor, you know, your parents, whatever you know another company it doesn't matter talk to somebody it's important stuff isaiah struggles with anxiety that's why it was fitting for him he talks about it openly i which i'm so happy about that he he does he does feel disruption what was that traffic traffic um he does feel comfortable talking about it i, I i'm very happy about that yeah me too and i mean i have to be honest like i was on the team of what do you mean like you have anxiety problems right suck it up buttercup yeah right. like that was you know so it's definitely opened my eyes too and I can appreciate now that people have those struggles you know so many times I think we forget well I don't deal with it so it can't be a thing right and we have to remember that everybody's so different yeah and I 
I, I know this is becoming a long, drawn out speech, but I just, you know, something, uh, this is an area that I've grown in. I think Priscilla probably has too, but I have grown in with starting this YouTube channel is really understanding other people's perspectives better and yeah. being more open-minded to that. Yeah, definitely. You know, I, I have, it's opened my, my eyes up to a whole other world and just, you know, the different ways that people live and what we consider to be normal is, is not normal for somebody else and vice versa. And that's why we say normal is overrated. You know, whatever your normal is, guess what? That's normal. And it's just, I'm so thankful that I have received this from all of you guys and from experiencing it through your eyes. And, you know, we'll say things or do things and we just get, you know, blasted in the comments like, you know, and we're like, wow, I never even considered that saying that or doing that could offend someone or right. or hurt someone or whatever. So it's it's helped us out for sure. You know, I mean, and we joke about it all the time, but the fact that I like, I interrupt people, you know, when I talk, like I'm being totally inconsiderate of, of someone else's turn to talk, of their thoughts, and, and it makes it appear like I don't value, you know, it's usually Priscilla and I talking, so right. I don't value your opinion on things, which I do, but I know how it comes across. And I'm, you know, I'm not beating a dead horse here. That's seriously something that I'm working on. You know, like I'll sit over here, you, if you watch us talk like this, I'll go, <laughs> like but, a, you know, I think <laughs> I think it's I think it's important to know that you aren't doing it to be like a jerk or you well, know what I mean. Like, right. It's just what you've always done. I've never even thought about it. Like it never even crossed my mind until people started commenting, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> but I think, and my point is just being able to grow based on your life right. experiences, and this has been such a fantastic experience for us. You know, again, mental health. We have learned so much about it and how truly important it is. Whereas before, we're just these, you know, we're these old school, like, what? Get over it. Like, yeah. suck it up. Drink your tap water, ride around the back seat with no seatbelt on, you know? Dog seat belts and bicycle helmets and a bunch of pansies. <laughs> I mean, that's that's how we grew up. Right. So it's it's open our eyes to things. And, and I would I would challenge you, you know, to open your eyes to things as well. And that's, and a lot of you have, and that's why you're here and you continue to watch because it's like, wow, this is how other people live and, and it's normal for them. And that's what normal is. Normal is overrated. I'm just gonna keep saying it. I'm, I'm getting a t-shirt that on it. Hi, sweet girl. Love the hair. All, yeah, all you cute. need is love. Manny, good job on the hair. Looks just like the picture. Girl, yeah. you gotta stop picking. <laughs> She's got a skin tag and she's, we're, listen, we're not going to get another snack. You had, and I know what you ate. You had a You're burger break. and you had potatoes. Listen, listen we're not going to get any more right now. Okay. Hey, hey, we can give hugs. You smell good. I love you. How's your girl? She's great. She's like sinking into the couch. Hey, hey, yeah, she hey. likes to hide herself. Yeah. Especially when Abby's being all loud. What's she doing? She's hitting me and telling me, eat. Girl. Do you, do you, do you, I mean, maybe she's just hungry. She's pretty adamant. I know. She's not normally this up. Okay. Oh, come on, let's get some food. I love your pigtails. It's going to be healthy, though. It's not going to be junk food, okay? You want to eat? <laughs> all right. Come on. The dog, the cat, the Abby, the Isaiah. It's super dark. I thought I would need some light. Bling. Ooh, I love these little lights. This, it's, hold on. It's this big. The little cube. That's the name, Loom Cube. Love these stinking lights. Like if you vlog, like being able to throw this in your pocket. So you have illumination no matter where you go. You can vlog at night. It's so perfect. Love them. I'll link them down below. Actually, it's in my kit, like my starter kit for vlogging. It's in that. It's in that link down there. Okay. Full disclaimer here. I just I gotta you know you know why I gotta put this out there. I want you to understand something, guys. This harness is is not although it's some racing company or whatever. It, it is not intended not intended to keep your child safe in case of an accident in the manner in which we are going to be installing this. That's not what we're using it for. Okay, that's, I just want to put that out there. Like, 
please keep that in mind. This is not a replacement for a seatbelt. This is going to be used in addition to the seatbelt. And so, so why then, right? What's the purpose of this? Well, if you're new here, um, Abigail will climb out of her seatbelt, the stock seatbelt. This is designed to keep her safe in case of an accident. She is more than big enough to wear a regular adult seatbelt. That's no problem, but she will get out of her seat, um, get out, climb, you know, slither out of her seatbelt, and then that's a real hazard. Um, she also doesn't wear it across her chest appropriately, so this is also going to help with placement of the seatbelt that is meant to restrain her in case of an accident. Um, this is a stay in your butt belt. That's what this is. Okay, but a lot of people have asked, so I wanted to show you. It's really going to be pretty simple. Uh, so you have your shoulder pieces here, right? And then this clips across the chest. This is an upgrade from her old one, if you haven't noticed. So Abigail rocks in her seat, especially when she gets upset. She'll walk, rock really hard, and it leaves little marks on her neck. The strap does. This one's got a thick padding right here. So that's an upgrade over the last one, which I love. And then this clip is an upgrade as well. She doesn't know how to operate these, so... This goes across her chest, and the shoulder belt actually run, it runs behind this. And I'll show you, once we get it all in, how she sits with it. And then this is across the waist, and these are your waist straps that go around the back. And I'll show you how we install that. Okay, so the general idea for this is the shoulder straps go here. Waist strap goes, come on light, stay where I put you. Waist strap goes around the bottom like this, right? Just like a racing harness. You want to get a four point, if you don't order this one, get you know any one that you order, get a four point racing harness, not a five point. A five point has the crotch strap as well. And you really don't have anywhere to mount that. Um, so these come with, this is typical for these, this type of, it's got a hole and it comes with hardware for like drilling into a race car frame and uh, tapping it and putting these in, but we're not going to, Obviously not going to drill holes in the car. It's not necessary for this because, again, it is not protecting them in case of a rollover or a collision or anything like that. What we are going to utilize is this bad boy right here. That is the area where you would attach a car seat. So we're just simply going to run these straps through here. Now you could also, you know, if you use like a carabiner or something in there and then run that through the carabiner, you could do that. But we're just going to run the strap right through it. Get approximately the right length that we want and be good to go. Okay, we're going to leave these loose uh, for right now so that we can put Abby in the seat and get it sized up. So I only have to adjust these once, once I do the final, final mock-up here. Okay, so with these, I'm going to move you around to the back because I'm going to show you how we're going to make, make this work. Okay, so what we have done here is run this the waist strap around to the back okay so it's just like i went through let me show you i went through the side over here if you can see that yeah so i just went through the side over there so it's not going to interfere with the seat it's just where the seat hinges you know when you're folding it so that's no big deal and then we're going to do the same if i can find my come back up same thing on this side here. Where's that? Can't see. Oh, oh, got it. Okay, so run that strap around. So then I needed some way to connect the two waist straps together. And I was thinking like zip ties or even just putting like a bolt in there or something like that. But this would be really easy. It's a key ring. If you're going to use zip ties for this, like you could attach these to the frame of the seat or the frame of the vehicle. If you have an access point, something like that, like down on the bottom, bottom back of the seat is going to be ideal. Uh, if, you, if you have somewhere you can strap down, you can get those like thick white zip ties like they use when they're... Kidnapping people? You know what I'm talking about. You've seen them on TV. But you can get those at most hardware stores. Okay, so got our key ring. Connecting them together. Like so. Again, this is not to protect in case of an accident. More than anything, this would probably stop an accident. Okay, so we got all of our straps are nice and loose. And then they have adjustments. Like here, you just cinch it down. There you cinch it down. Here, 
in here. And we can adjust it accordingly. Okay, let's get Abby and test it out. There she is. And try it out. Now listen, we're not going anywhere, okay? I know this happens every time we, we try out stuff. But gosh, you're tall. You didn't you didn't look this tall in my mind when I was sizing this thing up. Holy cow. Okay. Girl, you look like you're going racing. Does that mean I can drive like I'm racing? Uh, okay, so pull on these tabs here to adjust the waist down. Perfect. Gosh, this is, okay, this is legit way better than the other one. Yeah. Okay, so I'm going to pull these down a little bit just to bring the straps a little bit lower on her. We've got our chest strap in place. And then adjust these down. Oh good, and she can't just like... Oh, these kind of lock too, I like that. Dang, this is fancy, Ab. Uh, this is a serious upgrade. Yeah, okay, so yeah, you pull those down. And those clip in like that. Okay, so, what I'll probably do, Scylla, yeah. is put like, I'm gonna label these guys with numbers so the teachers so that they're better at it because they, they have a hard time sometimes remembering um, how this goes. So, this is how she'll get in the car. Uh, she gets in, you bu buckle the bottom one, like that. And then, the, the real seat belt, like so. And that goes across her chest right here. And then we use this clip, just like that. Perfect. And then she doesn't pull it down, it stays in place. Look at you! You're all you're all squared away. What do you think? I love that. You ready to go racing? Yeah. <laughs> <She's gonna> go. <laughs> do you like it? It's comfy, huh? So and when she rocks to it, it won't cut into her neck like the right. regular straps did because these are a lot more padded. So cool, huh? That's really cool. Alright, so I'm gonna leave it just like this because I gotta do the final I gotta do the final adjustment for the shoulder straps as soon as she gets out of here. Get it set. Easy peasy. Look at you. You're blasting off into space, huh? Okay, come on. Perfect. So then all we have left is to secure those straps that I talked about. These ones here for the, with the uh, built-in adjustment thing on there. We're good to go, guys. Job well done. Did you just say the effing word? Oh my gosh. That boy doesn't swear. Okay, so hopefully I made those instructions easy enough to follow. Hopefully I didn't overly complicate things at all. Um, well, if all else fails, go go with the, the car seat tie down points, you know, in the corners and then over the back. I think that would work. I think it would work in a sedan too, like a you know passenger car. I think it would work. Um, I'll leave a link for that harness down below if you want to pick one up. For yourself, I think it was seventy dollars. It might be cheaper. I don't remember. Links down below. What's going on? Craziness? She's ready for bed. I can tell. It's still tired. She is. I just need to like... Oh. <laughs> You're fine. I'm babysitting. She's babysitting. I just had Abby. Yeah, that didn't go well. So I came up and I handed off. We traded. So we traded kids. Where's your pillowcase at now? <sighs> Come kiss. Giggles. You're not going to go to sleep, are you? Give me a kiss. I love you. She was already asleep. You want to say bye to everybody? Oh my goodness, say bye. You want to close it out? Are you scared of the little girl in there? Yeah. She's noisy, huh? I am too. You'll get used to her. Maverick did. <laughs> She's terrifying. What kind of treatment is this? She just gets carried everywhere. I know. Spoiled. What are you doing? Get in bed! <laughs> She keeps looking at the kitten like she wants to fight. Hey, like can she's you pet the kitten nicely? Look. Can you pet her? 
Can you see better? <laughs> Go get in bed. What are you doing? She wants to wrestle. Oh, <laughs> I see. That's why she's like, I don't think she's ready for bed yet. Just saying. Oh yeah. So update on the fish. One, two, three, four, five. Apparently we have pet fish now as well. So many pets. You're not doing your job as a turtle. Disappointed. <laughs>